conference game, but uh, it's a little scary. You know, you don't have much film. We had one exhibition game. They probably had the same. You know, both teams have uh, a lot of new players, a lot of new faces. And so I uh, thought for 32 minutes, I was really pleased with, uh, with our team. You know, last eight minutes, uh, you know, you give Miami credit. But they had some tough shots, but we weren't the same team in the last eight minutes. And I don't expect us to be uh, in game one. You know, that happened a year ago when we played Nickel State. Now you're, you're playing a lot of different talent. You're playing a lot of different team. And the stakes are more knowing that uh, it's an ACC game. So we, we, we knew that regardless of the outcome, we were going to have to grow from this. And uh, I feel no differently now. Why do you think you guys weren't clicking in the first 10 minutes or so? I'm sure we're a little nervous. Hitters, guys have been working all summer. Um, I mean, I don't know if you were expecting, like, some machine to just come out here. I mean, you know, it's the first time for some of those guys playing on the stage and uh, playing against uh, very talented perimeter players, uh, two of the better guards in the, in the conference. So, um, you know, we uh, we got better as the time went on. It kind of felt like Ryan's three threes there in the first half really kind of changed the entire game. Yeah, he's a game changer, as we know. He's an elite level shooter. Uh, he's shooting the ball with a lot of confidence. And uh, I think in his you know, fifth year senior way he's gotten so much better at a lot of the other things um, that help you win uh, he made a big defensive play when they tried to lob into Rodney Miller and sort of held his position came up with a loose ball uh, you know he really has a nose for the ball I think he, he you know hit a two-point shot there in the second half he just he's more than just a three-point shooter but with that skill he's as good as anybody in the country did you feel like what you got out of your point guards, fresh and uh, Darius? I did. They had a big challenge. Uh, you know, their challenge becomes uh, so much greater when he's playing with that much freedom in the second half. And he's involved in our five men a lot. You know, Steve hasn't practiced for about a week. Um, he did a few days leading up. And then Aiden's a freshman. And so, um, you know, when they put him in so many ball, ball screen situations, it's not just Darius or Fresh that's trying to spearhead that defense. You're, you're bringing another – guy on the team that's got to do a good job too so uh, I felt like they ran the team again I don't think we played with the same gusto in the last eight minutes but it's, it's a learning experience for our team for sure. Jordan finished with 23 and 12 it kind of felt like he let the game come to him a little bit offensively a lot of those points came late did, did you did you notice that? I did I could tell that, that he wanted to press a little bit and uh, he's, he's really grown trusting um, that his teammates are going to find him he's really going to be circled on, the, on every scouting report. People are going to try to make their mark. Coaches are going to try to take him away. And I do think that he, he tried to let the game, you know, come to him. For him to only have uh, two assists, two, two turnovers in terms of that ratio, we'll take that. Last year was one assist for every two turnovers. Um, but I thought Jordan did a great job defensively outside of a few possessions. And then offensively, you know, he's, he's really good. Sam, impressive in his college debut. What are your thoughts on how he yeah, performed? Yeah, the first half uh, was a lot different for him than the second half, but that was just the way the ball was bouncing. Um, he's got a gift. He doesn't look like a freshman offensively. Uh, he can go off the wrong foot. And he's got a great touch, uses a glass. Uh, you know, the three, he got an and one. He just, uh, he's not a freshman on offense. He's still a freshman at times on defense, but the more he plays, like our other freshmen, he'll get better and more comfortable. Are you happy with how when Jordan wasn't necessarily scoring a whole ton in that first half, how he was playing on defense? I'm always happy if Jordan's playing defense. <laughs> But that goes, you know, it's no different from anybody. He's he's matured a lot. He's matured a lot. You know, he really values that uh, that part of the floor uh, a lot more than he did a year ago. He was um, by far our best defensive player against Bellarmine um, when we couldn't stop the Cook kid. And, uh, you know, outside of McGusty driving him one time, I thought he did a great job of keeping the ball in front and rebounding like he did. How did you rate his uh, throwdown? Oh, the dunk? Yeah. Um, I don't rate those things. I'm just glad he didn't miss it. I uh, made him <laughs> run sprints. Pretty good turnout from Louisville fans for a Tuesday night in Miami. Is that something? You really struggle with that. I know, man. It's, it's <laughs> kicking my ass. Yeah. Man, it's got too many axes on it. I'm trying to be professional. I understand. Man. I understand. <laughs> um, what was the question again? You got me sidetracked. Good, good crowd for a Tuesday night in Miami for Louisville. Yeah, and, and I know that we have a lot of uh, athletic events this week. Got volleyball on Friday. Uh, Coach Satterfield brings his football team here to play the Hurricanes. And so, um, you know, hopefully the Louisville fans get to. Enjoy three in a row, but we did our part, so take that, Scott.
<laughs> do you anticipate using Jordan, uh, Dwayne, and Sam and you know the lineups together often? They were in there a little bit tonight. They were, so and uh, we're, we're going to use any lineup that, that we uh, deem as one that can be successful. Different games are going to dictate uh, playing big. Uh, playing, We played five small tonight. Uh, you know, when we get Malik back and Aiden gets more experience, maybe won't do that as much. Um, but that's the thing I love about our depth. We can be very versatile. Um, and uh, so, yeah, you know, three really good players. And I'm going to put good players on the floor. Like, like you said, you never know how this game, these games are going to go. Did anything surprise you for better tonight, better than you thought it might be? Um, I really thought... You know, we, we, we sort of overhauled how we're playing offensively. And, you know, in fairness, Miami probably didn't have any film on it, maybe a little bit of the, you know, the Bellarmine game. But, um, you know, we, we got some back cuts. Uh, we did a good job screening. We can do a better job, and we're going to as time goes on. But uh, I just felt like it was more conducive for the personnel that we had. And um, so, yeah, I was, I, was, I was pleased outside of the first maybe four minutes we turned the ball over four or five times. We did a really good job of taking care of the ball and running good offense in the first half. As you prepare for your for your home opener against Youngstown State, now looking at this game, is there anything that jumped out that might become a focus as you guys prepare for that game? I'll have to watch the tape. Yeah. I mean, obviously not finishing uh, very strong, getting our uh, freshmen uh, up to speed on, on knowing that every play matters, both in practice uh, and in games. And that's how you increase the trust level that your coach has in you. And, uh, you know, if they have more moments like this in practice, and they don't get to play as many minutes as they did tonight, so um, it's it's not it's not a hard equation. One more for coach, anyone? Well, how would you describe Miami's opening punch? Obviously, they took a 16-9 lead in the first half. How would you describe your team's response to it and Miami's? Well, they, they've got good offensive players. Vasilovich's range is you know, any, anywhere inside half court. We really feel that way did it to us last year when they got that 16-17 point lead. Uh, but I like the response of our team in the uh, TV timeout with under 12. I thought our guys were very poised. They understood that uh, it's a long game, and we got to go out and win that third four-minute war, and it's exactly what we did. Okay, thank you, Coach. Thank you.